Hello everyone, in this video I'm going to talk about how to scrape a page that is using pagination. Is that, if that's how you pronounce it, pagination. Anyway, what is pagination? I, I hope I'm pronouncing it the right way <laughs> um, throughout this video, which when I'm going to say it. Anyway, what is pagination? So, pagination is when a page is dividing itself up to several pages. Instead of having one long page, sometimes they do that, where you have infinite scrolling, like in Facebook, Instagram, and so on. Um, but here, instead, it's divided up into several small pages. So, for example, here, you can see in Craigslist, we can click on Next, and we go to another page, or click Previous, and we go to the previous page. Same thing with eBay, for example, we can go and search on something like an orange pie and down below in the very bottom, at the very, very, very bottom, we have small pages you can go to. So that is pagination. And a lot of you guys have been asking me, how do I scrape a page with pagination? Well, actually, it's not that hard. It is pretty simple once you know how it works. So notice how when I click next here, there's a, an extra like uh, query parameter coming onto it that says S120. When I click next again, it says 240. Then I click next again, it says 360. So it's just adding 120 to the page. And if I set it to zero here, guess what? I get to the start page again. And it's the similar inside of eBay. Here we, we, I click for the next page and we see I get to here where it says page number two. And here it is setting 200 items to be shown. So if I set page number three here, I get to the third page. So that is how most of the website's pagination is working. There's a URL and you can change a number in up here to get to another page. Also, we have a section inside of the Airbnb scraper section where we actually learn how to scrape Airbnb uh, which is also using pagination on a certain section of their site we get to. But here's a really simple example of how to scrape the Craigslist page, because that's a really simple site, doesn't use any JavaScript. So we're only going to learn and focus on how to scrape a site with pagination. Now let's see. So we get this URL here with the zero at the end. And uh, I'm going to make a new project here. Da, da, da. I'll call it Pagination. And I go inside Pagination and I initialize npm. npm init dash dash yes. So we can add some packages. We are going to need request and request promise. And then Cherio. And once that is done, we are going to open up the project inside our editor. I have the project running and now I'm going to put my browser to the right of the window or the screen. So here I have my project. I just started up with npm init, adding the request, request promise and share your packages. So let's make a file, let's call it index as always. And let's import the modules or packages we just imported before. So request, say require request promise and Cherio. We say require Cherio. And I'm just going to close the tab here so you can see more of my screen. Now, the first thing you need to do is we'll make a scrape function, uh, 
async function scrape because we like to use async await. It's a very nice clean syntax to use. And then I call it down here in the global scope. So we have this URL, this one, and you can see what we're gonna do is we're gonna make a for loop and we're going to go through the first page, which is this one at zero. Then the next page is 120. The next page again is 240. So we make a for loop that starts at zero and adds 120 each time until we get to, let's see how many pages there is, 360. So let's get to it. I just cut the URL there, but let's see how it looks with the URL and with the for loop. So for uh, let's use let instead. That's modern way to do it. We start at zero and we continue until index is equal to, or I mean index is more or equal to 360, which is the end page inside of the quicks list. And for each time we run this loop, we are going to add 120 to the index. Now let's see if I can make it so you can see all the text. So, and then we still have the URL here. So we need the HTML from request. So we say request get and paste in the URL. Now, obviously I'm going to make the text a little smaller so we can see. And um, we need to put in available here, which is the number the index. So I'm just going to put a uh, plus index here. So first time we run this for loop, it's going to be zero. And the next time we run it, it's 120 and so on and so on. 240, 360. Um, so that is, I uh, remember we need to have a wait in front of the request.get because it is an asynchronous call. And um, yeah, so we make the Cherio um, selector. We can select inside here from the HTML. And that is also a wait. That's also an asynchronous function. And now we can select items inside of the HTML. This is just like the or the original quakes list example we did before. And we're just focusing on how to do pagination right now. So let me just see really fast how we can get the title. So the title we can get by saying um, result title, get the result title class. So let's see, so for each of the result title classes, we go, we have an index and an element. And with each of these, we can do a console log where we get the element text. Oops, I forgot. I forgot to have a parenthesis here. Let me see. There we go. So now we get all the titles of all the whatever we are looking for. I think this is volunteers on Craigslist. Um, so that's how we get the titles. I can just copy this and paste it in here. So result title for each have index element and we console log the title of the result title class. And uh, let's also just do a console log here um, at page number index. Okay, so uh, let's see if it works. 
there we go at page number one zero page number 120 uh, page 240 page 360 and that's the that's the end of the pages so if we go to the end of these volunteer jobs we should have this odd post here of someone looking for someone to clean their home which we also see here at the end at page number 360